Hey you guys, it's Charizard Morgan here. So I just wanted to ask you guys a question about the whole Diddy thing because apparently, I mean, he's not the only one that has been committing all these crimes. And yes, he did commit all these crimes. That's not what this video is about. Why now? He's been doing this for 30 years. Everyone in the music industry knew about it. Why now? And here's a possibility because I was watching the Savvy Sass, Savvy Sass channel, and she showed a clip where Charlemagne the God, that's what he calls himself, was interviewing Sean, Diddy, Puffy, Combs three years ago, I believe. And Diddy was talking about how they need to form a black party. No one's representing the black people. Now, the Southern District of New York is the one that went after him. That's all New York. That's Democrat run. You know, they went after Trump. Now they're going after Diddy. But the point of it is, why now? Because maybe he was trying to form a political party. I do not trust these Democrats. You know, it used to be the Republicans that were the evil ones. Remember when they sold us on the war on terror and Dick Cheney and... I hated them so much. Well, now it's the Democrats that have taken over the dark side. And, you know, uh, the government, which is currently the Democrats, are censoring things very heavily. Mark Zuckerberg is completely compromised. And now YouTube is also, again, becoming compromised. Remember when we weren't allowed to talk about COVID, we got a strike? Well, now they're taking down entire channels. There are so many channels by journalists like Rachel Blevins, Geopolitical Report, uh, professors, journalists. Their entire channel is just removed and in its entirety for questioning the U.S. military um, objectives, questioning the U.S. military involvement in Ukraine, Israel, and um, NATO. Uh, there's a lot of censorship going on and I believe that the only way to get around it is to select a populist president which would have been Bernie Sanders but they kicked him out and put in Hillary and then she lost to Trump. Trump is a populist candidate on the Republican side. Fortunately the Republicans are allowing a populist candidate. The Democrats are not. Um, there's also some talk about why they are not doing anything for the hurricane victims in North Carolina because it's a red state or a swing state and they, that will prevent them from being able to vote because if it was a blue state, maybe they would help them. I really don't know, but I don't know if a lot of people are aware of everything that's going on and I do not, I'm not going to talk about the geopolitics anymore because I don't want to lose my channel. And if I do, I'm going to put the videos on Rumble because I have a lot of thoughts about what's going on. Um, uh, we, you know, there are also people saying that this weather event that we do, the military does have the ability to do cloud formations and so on and influence the weather that maybe... The, the government was involved in making these hurricanes so strong that they want to keep some people from being able to vote. And they're adding like tens of thousands of people to the Democratic voter rolls in these swing states. So the Democrats could end up winning just from the illegals alone because California just ruled that you cannot require someone to show ID to vote. Like they're doing all kinds of sketchy things in these power grabs. I mean, the U I knew the US did coups in other countries, like they've done 88 coups. Well, now they're doing, we, we saw one in our own country when they kicked Biden out. And we know that they do regime change. Uh, well, now they're doing regime change here. And then they tell us that we're the good guys. Um, other countries murder their journalists, but we're the good guys. Well, we just take their channels down and we jail them like Julian Assange. We're really not the good guys, but Americans are very brainwashed from the time that they're little. They're told to pledge their heart to the flag. Um, and a lot of people still haven't woken up because they're watching, you know, PBS or the mainstream media. 
and they want to believe that we're the good guys, you know, but we're not. We may be the people, but I think most governments are just ruled by pretty much predators and really selfish people. Um, this is my attempt to make a video while I'm driving. I don't have the proper setup for it, <laughs> you guys. So take it or leave it. If you don't like this, don't watch it, okay? That's all I have to say. But the government is up to some shady stuff. And um, I'm curious what you think about it.